Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, we're diving into the profound teachings of the Book of Romans with 25 thought-provoking questions that will challenge your understanding of sin, grace, and salvation. Romans, a cornerstone of the New Testament, offers deep insights into God's plan for humanity, and we're here to explore it all. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to stay updated with more inspiring content. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so share your scores and any questions in the comments below. Are you ready to dive into the rich wisdom of Romans? Let's get started. Question 1. Which apostle wrote the letter to the Romans? A. Paul B. John C. Peter D. James You get 10 seconds. That's A, Paul. This letter is one of the most profound theological works in the New Testament, offering a deep exploration of salvation, grace, and faith. Paul's message to the believers in Rome aimed to strengthen their understanding of the gospel and unite them in their faith, despite the challenges they faced in a diverse and bustling city. Romans chapter 1, verse 1. Question 2. Who was declared to be the Son of God by the resurrection from the dead? A. Peter B. Jesus Christ C. Moses D. John the Baptist You get 10 seconds. That's B, Jesus Christ. In Romans chapter 1, verse 4, Paul declares that Jesus Christ was shown to be the Son of God through his resurrection from the dead. This event is central to the Christian faith, demonstrating Jesus' divine nature and power over death. The resurrection serves as the foundation of hope for believers, affirming that Jesus is truly the Messiah and the source of eternal life for all who trust in him. Question 3. Where were the Christians to that this letter was sent to? A. Rome B. Corinth C. Ephesus D. Jerusalem You get 10 seconds. That's A, Rome. At that time, Rome was a powerful and influential center, and the believers there faced pressure to conform to its culture. Paul's letter offered guidance and encouragement, emphasizing the core truths of the Christian faith and urging them to live out their beliefs with courage and unity amidst a challenging environment. Romans chapter 1, verse 7. Question 4. What shall the just live by? A. Prayer B. The law C. Faith D. Good deeds You get 10 seconds. That's C, faith. In Romans chapter 1, verse 17, Paul states, The just shall live by faith. This key declaration emphasizes that righteousness before God is not achieved through works or human effort, but through faith in Jesus Christ. It highlights the transformative power of believing in the gospel, where faith becomes the foundation for a life aligned with God's will and promises. Question 5. 
What happens when someone judges another person? A. Denies God. B. The will of God. C. Condemns himself. D. Makes himself God. You get 10 seconds. That C condemns himself. Romans chapter 2 verse 1 warns that those who judge others condemn themselves as they practice the same things. This passage emphasizes that judgmental attitudes fail to recognize personal shortcomings and the need for God's grace. Paul reminds believers that only God can judge righteously and that humility and self-reflection are crucial in understanding the universality of human sin and the need for repentance. Treasured Companion, subscribing is the key to staying informed about our upcoming quizzes. Make sure you don't miss out. Question 6. What does the goodness of God lead to? A. Peace B. Wealth C. Success D. Repentance you get 10 seconds. That's D, repentance. Paul underscores that God's kindness, patience, and forbearance are intended to turn people away from sin and towards a renewed relationship with Him. This goodness reveals God's desire for all to experience transformation, emphasizing that His patience is an opportunity for repentance rather than a sign of indifference towards sin. Romans chapter 2, verse 4. Question 7. What will God give to each person based on? A. Their deeds. B. Their prayers. C. Their intentions. D. Their knowledge. You get 10 seconds. That's A. Their deeds. Romans chapter 2 verse 6 declares that God will render to each one according to their deeds. This principle highlights the importance of accountability, emphasizing that God's judgment will be fair and just. It serves as a reminder that actions matter in the eyes of God, encouraging believers to live righteously and remain steadfast in their faith. Question 8. What will come upon every soul that does evil? A. Peace B. Blessing C. Forgiveness D. Anguish and Tribulation You get 10 seconds. That's D, anguish and tribulation. Paul emphasizes that God's judgment is impartial and applies to all, whether Jew or Gentile. This message serves as a reminder that actions have consequences, and those who reject God's ways will face distress. It underscores the importance of turning away from sin and seeking God's mercy. Romans chapter 2, verse 9. Question 9. Let God be true, but what about every man? A. Kind B. A liar C. Honest D. Faithful You get 10 seconds.
That's B, a liar. Romans chapter 3 verse 4 states, Let God be true, but every man a liar. This powerful declaration emphasizes that God's word and promises remain reliable, even if human opinions and actions are flawed or untrustworthy. Paul uses this contrast to highlight God's unwavering faithfulness in comparison to human fallibility, urging believers to trust in God's truth above all human reasoning or judgment. Question 10. Who has sinned and come short of the glory of God? A. Gentiles B. The Jews C. Pharisees D. All people You get 10 seconds. That's D, all people. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 declares that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This underscores humanity's need for salvation through Jesus Christ, as every person, regardless of background or status, falls short of God's glory and requires His grace for redemption. Question 11. Through faith in what is their remission of sins? A. The law. B. Good deeds. C. Jesus Christ's blood. D. The prophets. You get 10 seconds. That's C. Jesus Christ's blood. Romans chapter 3 verse 25 teaches that through faith in Jesus' sacrifice, our sins are forgiven. Paul explains that Jesus' death shows God's mercy and justice, offering believers a way to be cleansed from sin and restored to a right relationship with God. Question 12. Man is justified by faith without what? A. Prayer. B. The law. C. Sacrifice. D. Good intentions. You get 10 seconds. That's B, the law. Romans chapter 3 verse 28 states that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Paul's message is a cornerstone of Christian doctrine, highlighting that salvation is a gift from God, not something earned through human effort or adherence to rules. Question 13. Who believed in God and it was considered righteousness for him? A. Abraham B. Moses C. David D. Noah you get 10 seconds. That's A, Abraham. In Romans chapter 4, verse 3, Paul refers to Abraham who believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Abraham's faith in God's promises served as a model of genuine belief, demonstrating that trust in God's word is the key to being made right with him. This example underscores the power of faith, showing that righteousness is credited to those who trust in God's promises. Question 14. When was Abraham's faith counted as righteousness? A. After circumcision. B. Before circumcision. C. When offering Isaac. D. After leaving homeland. You get 10 seconds.
That's B, before circumcision. Romans chapter 4 verse 10 explains that Abraham's faith was counted as righteousness before he was circumcised. Paul uses this to emphasize that God's promises and acceptance are accessible to all, both Jew and Gentile, as Abraham's faith preceded the covenant sign, making him the father of all who believe. Question 15. Who was sacrificed for our sins and raised for our justification? A. Paul B. Moses C. Jesus Christ D. John the Baptist You get 10 seconds. That's C, Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 4 verse 25 states that Jesus was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. This verse highlights the dual aspects of Jesus' role in salvation. His death as the atonement for human sin and his resurrection as the proof of God's power to justify believers. It underscores the completeness of Christ's work in bringing forgiveness and making believers right before God. Question 16. What does suffering or hardship produce? A. Hope B. Peace C. Strength D. Perseverance You get 10 seconds. That's D, perseverance. Romans chapter chapter 5 verses 3 to 4 teaches that suffering produces perseverance, which leads to character and character results in hope. Paul emphasizes that challenges and hardships are not meaningless. They help shape believers, strengthen their endurance, and deepen their trust in God. Question 17. When did Christ die for us? A. After we repented. B. While we were strong. C. While we were righteous. D. While we were still sinners. You get 10 seconds. That's D while we were still sinners. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 states that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This highlights God's unconditional love, showing that Jesus gave his life even when humanity was far from deserving it. This sacrificial act demonstrates the depth of God's love and commitment to redeeming and saving people, emphasizing that salvation is a gift, not something earned. Question 18. What reigned from Adam to Moses? A. Death B. Grace C. Law D. Sin You get 10 seconds. That's A, death. Romans chapter 5 verse 14 explains that death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin in the same way as Adam. Paul uses this to illustrate the universal impact of sin and the need for redemption through Christ, contrasting Adam's act with the gift of life through Jesus. Question 19, where sin increased, what increased even more? A. Love B. Grace C. Faith D. Mercy You get 10 seconds.
That's B, grace. Romans chapter 5 verse 20 states that where sin increased, grace increased all the more. Paul's message emphasizes that no matter how great sin becomes, God's grace is always greater. This abundance of grace offers hope to believers, assuring them that God's love and mercy can overcome even the deepest failures, providing a way for reconciliation and renewal. Question 20. What is someone who has died free from? A. Fear B. Suffering C. Sin D. Judgment you get 10 seconds. That's C, sin. Romans chapter 6 verse 7 says that anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Paul uses this to explain that through death, believers are released from the power of sin. This freedom symbolizes a new beginning in Christ, where sin no longer has control over their lives, allowing them to live in the fullness of God's grace and righteousness. Stay with us until the end of the video to see how many Bible quiz questions you got right. Don't forget to note your score and share it with us in the comments section. Let's explore and learn more about the Bible with these fun and interesting questions. Question 21. What is the wages of sin? A. Punishment B. Suffering C. Sorrow D. Death You get 10 seconds. That's D, death. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 states that the wages of sin is death. This verse serves as a reminder that sin leads to spiritual death, but God's redemptive plan offers hope. It highlights the stark reality of sin's impact, but also points to the ultimate hope found in Christ's salvation. Question 22. What is the gift of God? A. Faith B. Peace C. Grace D. Eternal life You get 10 seconds. That's D eternal life. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 also declares that the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Eternal life represents God's grace and his desire to restore humanity's relationship with him through Jesus. It's a reminder of the hope and promise that believers have in Christ's sacrifice and victory over death. Question 23. What has the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus made us free from? A. Sin and death B. Judgment C. Death D. Fear You get 10 seconds. That's A, sin and death. Romans chapter 8 verse 2 states that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. This freedom represents a new life in the spirit where the Holy Spirit guides believers into a life of righteousness and purpose, breaking the chains of sin's control. Question 24. Who makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered? A. Angels B. The Holy Spirit 
C. Apostles. D. Jesus Christ. You get 10 seconds. That's B, the Holy Spirit. Paul describes the Holy Spirit's role in assisting believers in prayer, especially during moments of weakness. The Spirit's intercession goes beyond words, expressing the deep needs of the heart directly to God, ensuring that believers' prayers align with God's will even when they do not know what to ask for. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Question 25. What was a sin without the law? A. Strong B. Unforgivable C. Dead D. Powerless You get 10 seconds. That's C, dead. Romans chapter 7 verse 8 says, Apart from the law, sin was dead. Paul explains that the law revealed sin by defining right and wrong. Without the law, sin remained hidden, but the law exposed its nature. This highlighted humanity's inability to achieve righteousness alone, pointing to the need for grace through Christ. Wow! Congratulations on completing this insightful journey through Romans. Whether you answered confidently or gained new insights, remember that Romans reveals profound truths about sin, grace, and salvation, guiding us closer to God's plan. If you enjoyed this quiz, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let's spread the word and continue to explore the depths of the Bible. Subscribe for more helpful quizzes and Bible teachings. Thank you for joining us today and may your faith journey continue to grow. See you in Romans part two.